Science fiction and fantasy in Poland dates to the late 18th century. During the later years of the People's Republic of Poland, social science fiction was a very popular genre of science fiction. Afterwards, many others gained prominence. Currently there are many science fiction writers in Poland. Internationally, the best-known Polish science fiction writer is Stanisław Lem. As elsewhere, Polish science fiction is closely related to the genres of fantasy, horror and others. Although many English-language writers have been translated into Polish, relatively little Polish-language science fiction or fantasy has been translated into English. History Science fiction in Poland started in the late 18th century during the Polish Enlightenment, when Mitchell Dimitar Krajewski wrote a novel about the adventures of a Pole on the Moon. In the mid-19th century, during the Age of Romanticism in Poland, Adam Mickiewicz, reckoned by many to be Poland's top poet, also worked on a Verne-like science fiction novel A History of the Future, but never published it only a few fragments remain. Later in the same century, the period of positivism in Poland saw several writers explore themes similar to Verne and H. G. Wells, among them Władysław Urmiński, Wlodzimierz Zagorski and Sigurd Wisniewski. However, perhaps the most famous Polish writer of the time, Bolesław Prus, used science fiction elements in his mainstream fiction. For example, his novel Lalka includes a mad scientist as well as a lighter than air metal. Similar themes are seen in the works of Prus colleague, Stefan Zieromski, with his Houses of Glass in Shedwyozny, and his Death Rays in Rosa. In the early 20th century Jerzy Zulawski was probably the most popular Polish science fiction author, with his Lunar Trilogy Trilogia a masterpiece for its time and place of composition. Similar works were created by Tadeusz Konczynski, Wacław Gasierowski and Maria Julia Zaleska. In the reborn Second Polish Republic other writers followed in this genre. Edmund Kruger and Kazimierz Andrzej Chizowski were known for his many books addressed to the younger audience, Bruno Winora for his satirical take and Jerzy Reiklinski and Ferdinand Antony Osendowski for their catastrophic vision of future war. Finally, Antony Slonimsky's D.W.A. Kant's Sweater Two Ends of the World is perhaps the best-known dystopian work of the time. After World War II, in the first decade of the People's Republic of Poland, science fiction was used as a propaganda tool by the communist regime, with its main purpose being to show the bright future of communism. Only after Joseph Stalin's death were Polish writers to gain more leeway and start questioning the reality around them, albeit always struggling against censorship. At that time the undisputed leader of Polish science fiction was Stanisław Lem, who first questioned the regime's actions in his memoirs found in a bathtub. He was followed by Janusz A. Zydl, Konrad Fialkowski and Czeslaw Khrushchevsky, and from the mid-70s for a short period by the acclaimed writings of Adam Wisniewski Snurg. In the late 1970s the genre social science fiction Polish, arose in the People's Republic of Poland. At these times it focused on the development of societies dominated by totalitarian governments. 
the genre is dominated by Janusz A. Zydl, Limes Inferior, Paradisia, Edmund W. N. U. K. Lipinski, Apostezhon Trilogy, Adam Wisniewski Snurg, and Marek Aramis. Some works by Stanislaw Lem can also be classified within this genre. The fantastical settings of books of this genre were usually only a pretext for analyzing the structure of Polish society, and were always full of allusions to reality. After the revolutions of 1989, when the use of real-world examples in fiction became safe in former Eastern Bloc countries, the genre largely transformed itself into political fiction, represented by writers such as Rafal A. Zimkiewicz, although an echo is visible in the 1990s dystopia, Hard SF Duology by Thomas Kolosiechak. Polish fantasy began to appear in the late 1980s. Polish authors notable as fantasy writers include Andrzej Sapkowski, The Witcher series, and Felix W. Krez, The World of Sarah. Another fantasy series of that time was authored by Konrad Lewandowski. The 1980s were also the time Polish comics dealing with fantasy and science fiction were released, such as The Witcher comic book, and the science fiction comic series Funky Koval. In the 1990s there was an explosion of translations, primarily from the Western English language literature. The major Polish publishing house specializing in Polish science fiction and fantasy literature was Supernoa. The scene was transformed around and after 2002, with Supernoa losing its dominant position, and many new Polish writers, the 2002 generation, appearing. An increasing number of translations from non-English speaking countries Russian, Ukrainian, Czech has been noticeable as well. Currently, much of Polish science fiction and fantasy resembles that familiar to English language writers. There are many science fiction writers as well as fantasy writers in Poland, and their works vary from alternate histories to hard science fiction. The best internationally known Polish science fiction writer is undoubtedly Stanislaw Lem, although many others can be considered world class, with their books being translated into many mostly European languages. Relatively little Polish language science fiction and fantasy has been translated into English, even though countless English language writers have been translated into Polish. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern writers. Modern Polish science fiction and fantasy writers include Ewa Bialeleka, Anna Bezhezinska, one of the youngest Polish writers, known for her ongoing fantasy saga, the first book of which was released in 1999. Eugenius Debski, a writer of fantasy and science fiction, best known for two series. The science fiction detective stories of Owen Yates and the humorous adventures of a chameleon knight, Hondelik. Jacek Dukic, one of the most acclaimed writers of the 1990s and 2000s, and winner of many awards. He is known for the complexity of his books, and it is often said that a single short story by Dukic contains more ideas than many other writers put into their books in their lifetime. His books are generally hard SF. Popular themes include the technological singularity, nanotechnology, and virtual reality. 
Among his favourite writers is Australian Greg Egan, and Dukaj's books bear some resemblance to Egan's. Yaroslav Grzedovich, author of Fantasy Stories, winner of Zydel Award for Book and Short Story in 2005. Anna Kantik Thomas Kolasiechak, science fiction and fantasy writer, screenwriter, publisher and editor of books, comics and role-playing games. Marek Huberath, author of many short stories, he focuses on the humanistic aspects psychology, feelings, motivations, etc. of his characters. Major Lydia Kosakowska, a fantasy writer, her trademark is the frequent appearance of angels. Felix W. Krez, best known for his two fantasy cycles, Kaesiaga Kalashi, The Book of Entirety, set on a world called Sarah, where cats and vultures as well as humans are intelligent, and Pyklo Isz Pada, Hell and Spade, a dark fantasy set in an alternate 17th century, where demons and beings older than Satan openly interact with humanity. Jacek Komuda, known for his fantasy stories set in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, his writing often closely resembles a historical novel, though he doesn't shy from supernatural elements such as witches and devils. He is also one of the authors of the Ziki Pola role-playing game set in that period. Stanislaw Lem Lem was Poland's most acclaimed and famous science fiction writer although he has mostly stopped writing in the science fiction genre before the 1990s, and the only one who had had most of his works translated into English. He often veered into philosophical speculation on technology, the nature of intelligence, the impossibility of mutual communication and understanding, and humankind's place in the universe. His works are sometimes presented as fiction, to avoid the trappings of academic life and the limitations of readership and scientific style, while others take the form of essays and philosophical books. Konrad T. Lewandowski Lukasz Orbitowski Romuald Paulak Jacek Pikara Andre Polipiuk is best known for his humorous series about Jakub Wedroics, an alcoholic exorcist and unwilling superhero. Recently he started another popular series, featuring the adventures of three women, an over 1,000-year-old vampire, a 300-year-old alchemist Sletchanka, and her relative, a former Polish secret agent from the SEBS Central Bureau of Investigation. A recurring character in the series is the alchemist Mitchell Sedgewodz, and the universe is the same as the one of Wedroix, who makes appearances from time to time. Andrzej Sapkowski. Sapkowski is one of the best-selling Polish authors, translated into many languages recently into English, he is best known for his The Witcher fantasy series. The main character of the series is Geralt, a mutant assassin trained from childhood to hunt down and destroy monsters and other unnatural creatures. Geralt moves in an ambiguous moral universe, yet manages to maintain his own coherent code of ethics. At once cynical and noble, Geralt has been compared to Raymond Chandler's signature character Philip Marlowe. The world in which these adventures take place owes much to J. R. R. Tolkien, while also heavily influenced by Polish history and Slavic mythology. Jacek Sobota Wit Sustak Janusz Zydl
He became the second most popular Polish science fiction writer after Stanislaw Lem until his sudden death in 1985. Zydel's novels created the core of Polish social fiction and dystopian fiction. In his works, he envisions totalitarian states and collapsed societies. His heroes are desperately trying to find sense in world around them, sometimes, as in Cylinder van Troffe, they are outsiders from a different time or place, trying to adapt to a new environment. The main recurring theme in his works is a comparison of the reader's gloomy, hopeless situations to what may happen in a space environment if we carry totalitarian ideas and habits into space worlds, red space republics or space labor camps, or both. The Janusz A. Zydel Award of Polish fandom is named after him. Rafal A. Ziemkiewicz. In the 1990s he was one of the most popular Polish science fiction authors. For his novels Pieprzeni Los Katarinyaza and Walc Stulicia as well as his short story Spiaka Krojuna he was awarded the prestigious Zydel Award. A popular theme in his works is the fate of Poland and more broadly, Europe, in the near future from several to several dozen years. His books often paint the future in dark colors, showing the Commonwealth of Independent States disintegrate into a civil war, European Union becoming powerless in the face of Islamic terrorism, and predatory capitalism and political correctness taken ad absurdum leading to the erosion of morality and ethics. Thus his books are often classified as political fiction and social science fiction, although they stop short of being seen as dystopian fiction. Andrzej Zimniak Andrzej Zimianski. Zimianski writes both science fiction, with themes like post-apocalyptic Autobahn Nach Poznan and alternative history Bomber Heisenberger, and fantasy, like his most recent A Charger series. Publishers There are two major Polish science fiction and fantasy monthly magazines. The oldest one is now a Fantastica, published in 1982 to 1990 as Fantastica. Another one, founded in 2001, is Science Fiction, which publishes mainly new Polish works and much fewer translations than now a Fantastica. As of 2006, both had a circulation of about 8,000 to 15,000. Discontinued magazines include Phoenix (1990–2001), S. Finks (1994–2002), and Magia I. Miech (1993–2002). Several are published online in easing form, including Fahrenheit and Essencia. There are two major Polish publishing houses specializing in Polish science fiction and fantasy Fabrika Slo and Runa. Supernoa, once a dominant publishing house on that field, has now lost much of its position. Mag and Solaris publish mostly translations, and in what is seen as boom for the Polish science fiction and fantasy market, mainstream publishing houses are increasingly publishing such works as well. A book with a circulation of over 10,000 is considered a bestseller in Poland. Fandom Polish science fiction fandom is prominent, with dozens of science fiction conventions throughout Poland. 
The largest of them is Polcon, first held in 1982. Other prominent ones include Falcon, Imladris, Kraken, and Nordcon. Two largest prizes awarded by fandom are the Janusz A. Zydel Award and the Nautilus Prize. Other notable include the Sakfa Award of the oldest Polish fandom club, the Silesian Fantasy Club. Science fiction conventions in Poland are de facto almost always science fiction and fantasy conventions and are often heavily mixed with role-playing gaming conventions. On the other hand, although Poland has also several manga and anime conventions, they are usually kept separate from the science fiction and gaming fandom conventions. The most important comic books and science fiction conventions in Poland include the Warsaw Comic Con and the International Festival of Comics and Games in Łódź. Other media Polish science fiction writing has not had much impact on non-print media like cinema, television and computer games, although several science fiction, fantasy and horror films and games have been made in Poland. The notable exception is Sexmissia Sex Mission, which has become something of a cult film in Poland, and has been widely aired abroad, for example in UK. Other lesser-known examples include the films of Pyotr Sulkin. In the late 2000s, The Witcher computer game series became a bestseller worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>